Hey guys, long time no see. It's Zoe here and this is Toro. I want to do something that kind of inspired what I thought like the islands would be if we had fall. So I used a lot of like, warm, golden, reddish, um, bronzy colors and stuff that just kind of makes you feel kind of like snuggly. I don't know. I just feel as though if the islands had fall, it would have looked like this and everyone would be running about looking like this. <laughs> so I also want to incorporate this headband that I recently got and it just kind of works out what you look, I guess. So you have some really nice golds on your lid. Alright, I start out with this um this it's kind of like a warm reddish color from Sigma and I really like it. It acts as a really good base. All the colors were able to add here to my eye properly, it didn't crease or anything like that, and I really like this look. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I complete this look, just keep watching. So like I said, I want to start off with a really warm base on the eye. So I began with this eyeshadow base from Sigma and it's called Strike and applied it all over the mobile area to my lid and just gently blend it with the ring finger because it applies the least amount of pressure and for the first crease color I took red brick from matte and took a fluffy 224 brush and blended it into my crease now I have a piece of paper there because it helps prevent fallout and it also helps with the eyeshadow application process you're gonna have a nice clean line and the key to blending is just to take your time And to assist me with the gradient effect, I'm going to take Saddle, which is a nice medium brown color, and apply it in my crease. This time though with a skinnier brush. It's going to help define the area a little bit more. Now with a really small brush, I took Swiss Chocolate and apply this to the outermost corner of the crease. Sorry for the brief change of color guys, the sun was setting right in front of my window. Now to deepen and define your eye now, take any matte black eyeshadow and this one here is carbon from matte, but you can use anything you have. And apply this to the upper lash line and then blend it into the Swiss chocolate. After that, this is the time you would go back and try to blend everything seamlessly together with a fluffy brush and in this case I'm using the 224. Now I was going to leave it as that but I decided nah, this look needs something to represent the golden barb of the sun and I cannot remember the name of that eyeshadow to save my life but any sort of golden shimmery eyeshadow, just take it and apply it into the inner corner of your eye. Now it's time to line my eyes so for my waterline I use Smolder from MAC. And for my upper lash line, I use a gel cream liner from Inglot. My mascara today is from Bare Minerals. It's actually one of my favorites. And just to kind of bring the look together, I use the same colors I use on top underneath my lower lash line. And just this time, use a smudger brush for easier application. And that's it for the eyes, ladies. I just pulled my hair up into a messy bun. And then I put on this gold leaf headband from Biba.com and then just put on some hairs from the side of my face for a more ethereal look. I use CoverGirl's contour and powder in the hollows of my cheeks. And to highlight my cheekbones, I took Gleam from Ila Masca. And for the lips, I just lined them with Court Lip Liner from MAC and just topped it off with Moth to Flame, which is a Dazzle Glass from MAC. And just for a little bit more shine, I took the Illa Masker Highlighter and applied it to the middle part of my lip. And that's it ladies, my Fall Island Girl Makeup Tutorial. Don't forget to check out my new fashion blog, carbsheet.com. My Instagram is my name, Zoe Allenby, and my Facebook is Carapetes. Thank you guys so much for watching. You really don't know how much I appreciate it. Love always, Zoe.